I think what we need to do is to try and avoid the temptation of the unknown, meaning that because it is uh, still being tested, as you rightly said, we should avoid the temptation of doing things in the online environment that we wouldn't necessarily do in the offline environment when we are selling something. Uh, we are now dealing uh, in the European Commission with this problem of defining who is a vulnerable consumer because it's not just a child or a senior person. A vulnerable consumer can be any of us in a given circumstance. And one of the areas we are working on is the online environment because that is where the consumer um, falls in a, in a big hole of unknown elements. For instance, if you're a consumer that is going to buy something offline, you don't necessarily give away your data. The person who is selling you the product doesn't know your age group, your ethnicity, and all sorts of other important personal data. Why should that happen when you buy online? Why should you have to uh, give away things that you wouldn't if you buy online or if you check things online rather than offline? A brand would not necessarily tempt uh, young people with uh, fancy and uh, very uh, popular elements to attract them in a supermarket or in another selling point, why should you do that online? Knowing that it is in fact more attractive and that's why you wouldn't do it in a public space. I think this is a very delicate exercise and it is where brands need to demonstrate responsibility. In areas that uh, we've worked on, we've seen that they're making a significant effort. Brands are making an effort and they're making a joint effort because brands cannot do it alone. You need to work with uh, those in charge of social media, you need to work with the online uh, sector more globally. I know that brands cannot do it alone. You need this to be a collaboration between the different aspects of the online environment, the different uh, actors of the online environment. So we've seen that in areas that I mentioned earlier, like in the area of nutrition, the area of alcohol. I think we need to see it more globally, that um, whenever a brand engages in any marketing strategy that goes online, they work together with those that serve this environment to make sure that they avoid the temptation I mentioned earlier. I think they're making efforts such as those that I mentioned in the area of alcohol and nutrition, but we need to see them mm. in other areas as well. And we need to see them also being more specifically targeting children. Uh, what used to be an issue such as children obesity only across the Atlantic is now a big issue also in the European Union. The online environment that we mentioned earlier that we're discussing is, is a global issue. There are efforts um, between certain countries. I think we need leadership um, for more international efforts, for efforts that bring together more jurisdictions, not just the usual sus suspects. It shouldn't just be the EU and the US. We need experience from other parts of the world. And um, I think that there, there's still some work to be done. Definitely marketing and social media, definitely. Marketing and social media, uh, making sure that um, you work with all those involved also in social media. Uh, when it comes to respecting age limits, when it comes to ensuring that children are not exposed to what they're not supposed to be exposed, respecting the age limits not just of the law but also of society and uh, playing a role in, um, in addressing what we call the vulnerability of certain groups and uh, avoiding this temptation of doing more online than you do offline uh, for selling a brand.